Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. I have a new lounge fly to unbox today from Shop Disney. So we have a big old Shop Disney box. Now this, I don't think anyone was expecting this lounge fly. I, it, you will have seen from the thumbnail. It's predominantly orange, so I've gone with like a full, I've actually gone with the coral outfit today because orange. Now it's not that often that Shop Disney UK gets an item first. Normally it's in one of the US parks. But we have an item first. I don't know if it's actually on shopdisney.com. I probably should have checked that. But because it's a Disney Parks lounge fly, I presume it will be going to the other Disney parks at some point. So why we had it first, I don't know. But I'm not mad about it. Okay. I love these Shop Disney boxes because, sorry if this bit's a bit loud, it should be one fluid movement. Kind of, kind of, kind of, never mind, we'll take it, it was close enough. And these Shop Disney boxes, I love them, you can colour them in if you want to. So I'm pretty sure in the US they used to have sh like Shop Disney on the outside, but some people said when things arrived their children knew it was from Disney, so it's kind of, I mean it has Mickey and Shop Disney on the side of it, but then the fun is on the inside. Right, packing slip first for the price, because I'm going to forget, it was £85 as a retail. Sorry if this bit's a bit noisy. Try to get to it. Oh. Sorry, noisy, noise, noisy, noise. I'm going to try and. Lovely. I always worry if it's going to knock the nightstand, nightstand, light stand, and then knock the table. But we did. She's in my packaging. So, scissors up there. I do have the box opener down there because there is something else that I want to show after the lounge fly. But I'm much too impatient. So, right. So, oh no, I've not cut that. One second. Okay, Marie. You don't want to see me faffing around with the scissors trying to get the tape. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's tape all over the paper. Okay. Shimmy, we're going to have to rip it. We might have to. Ooh. See, I didn't really look at that many pictures. I think there were only three pictures of this online. Oh, my word. Oh, she's like an ombre. Okay, let me get the ear protector off first. Oh, we'll be gentle. I always worry with the ear protectors that it's going to fling a sequin off. We have paper around the bow so I want to be careful with the bow. I'm just gonna, is it taped? Oh no it's just wrapped. Oh it's wrapped a lot. Okay. Yoink. I have a wonky pocket. We'll come to that part later. Now she screams Halloween to me but I don't believe that she's listed as Halloween. Do you know what? My phone's just here. I'm gonna check. So you can just stare at her for a second while I find Shop Disney, oh, one-handed, lounge fly, we'll search for lounge fly on Shop Disney UK, there we go, she's £85 and she's listed as lounge fly, actually I'll pop up the description just here so you can see it as well, lounge fly Minnie Mouse orange backpack, that's all it says, it doesn't say anything to do with Halloween at all, so Technically, I suppose she's not Halloween, but she's giving Halloween. Orange and black tend to be. And it's coming up to the time for Halloween now, like we're in July. We're going to start with Halloween prep soon, aren't we? Oh, I do have a wonky pocket, but... So I might try and get another one, because, you know. But look at this. I mean, if you've not seen my videos before, sequins are kind of my downfall. So I kind of had to get it. So we have black sequin ears at the top just there and then that beautiful black sequin bow look at that shimmer and we do have disney parks and lounge fly so she must be coming to the parks at some point oh i 
I do love it. I actually really, really love this one. So I do have a slight wonk in the pocket. You can see just there it's higher than this part down here. But the front pocket is covered in those black sequins as well. And I love this part. So the, the rest, it's like an orange, but then when you move it, it turns to like a bit of a yellow sort of colour. So if I hold it there, so you can see that slight colour change go from orange to yellow. It looks like there might be a tinge of green in there as well. It's like a little bit of green. I love it. And then for the, the parts, like the detail around the zips, that's all orange. And then this de detail just there by that pocket. So all around by the zip is a lovely orange colour. What's the bottom? Oh, the bottom is that same orangey colour as well. So there we go. The back... They don't put the price on the tags, but it was £85, I remember from the packing slip. I quite like the back. It's that same kind of iridescent sort of colour with the shimmer shimmer. And then it's the same material as the bottom for the strap. However, it's like orange and yellow put together. So this part just here is the yellow and then the strap is the orange. What I would say, the material does not look forgiving. If you have the... Walt Disney World 50th iridescent backpacks if you dent them the dent kind of stays in there so if this was to get creased it does seem and feel like the sort of material where the crease will stay in there so I'd say to be careful but she's stunning either way so if we do a 360 move the tag out the way full 360 of this beautiful backpack oh the sequins are on the back of the ears as well sometimes when there's sequins on the ears I think I'm sure I've got one where there's not sequins on the back, but there are on the front. But she's got sequins on the back as well. So 360 time. I know I was part way through 360, but I'll do it again. Just because I interrupted myself. She's beautiful. I feel like this is an outfit. This makes me wonder then, if it's Disney Parks, similar to like the Coral and even Arendelle Aqua, is there going to be... Oh no, there are ears. There are ears. I'll pop a picture of the ears just there. I did not get the ears. So we have ears. Are we going to have a spirit jersey to match? Because it could kind of be maybe a bit darker than this orange. Because this is the coral one that ombres down. You can see this bit's a bit darker there than the top. So we could have like maybe this sort of dark colour. But then all the detailing could be in black glitter. That would be a perfect match. I do love it when we have a match. I love it when there's like matching ears, backpack and lounge fly. I don't always get the ears. Ears, backpack and lounge fly. Ears, spirit jersey and lounge fly. Excuse me. Brains are mush. I love it when we have the sets. I don't always get the ears though, but I feel like I might need to get the ears now. I didn't get them, but I might need to. But we'll have a look at the inner lining. See what it is. Ooh. Okay, I did have a look at the inner lining. Oh, sorry. Dust just kind of flew everywhere. I did have a look at the picture for the inner lining on Shop Disney. And I didn't think it would be this big. So it's the same kind of as this orange colour. And it's minis. So minis, obviously, black outline. And then an orange bow. But I feel like the picture online made them seem smaller than they are. I don't know why I expected them to be smaller than that. So that's the inner part. I'm trying not to bend the front too much just because I don't want it to actually bend and crease. Oh, I like. I do like. I love it. Don't like it. I love it. She does also have two side pockets there and there. They are very small though, so pop something tiny in there. I'm loving this backpack. I'm so glad I got it. When I first saw it, I thought £85 is a bit steep. But because I, no, I, look, I don't have one like this. See, this is why I am due a reshuffle of the display. But backpacks like this confuse me because, okay, what would you do with multicolour backpacks? Would you display this one here with coral? Or would you display it with the black sequins, which are up there? Same for this aerial one. Would you display her with the green or with the purple? That's kind of why I haven't done a reshuffle yet as well. I can't decide on how... I would do it. Do I keep all the sequins together? That's that's a little bit overwhelming, so that's for another time. Lounge fly backpack though. 
I love that one. I love the shimmer. I, I, sorry, I can't stop looking. It's just the shimmer. I like when you see it in the light and that slightly kind of orange to yellow. Love it. Okay. Elsa. If you've not seen my videos, Spirit Elsa and Sorcerer Mickey are my absolute favourites. Now, I know this isn't Spirit Elsa. And when I say Spirit Elsa, I mean Elsa from the very end of Frozen 2 when she's got like her hair down and that beautiful white gown at the very end. Oh, goodness. I'm trying to be careful. Put that box opener down there. So, I have an Elsa Q Posquette. Sorry, I probably should have said that. So, this is the box that she is, that she is, that she's in, rather. There is an Anna as well. But I've got Elsa. So we're going to get her out and have a look. And I've missed a part of the tape. I thought it was just the one part. But she's got tape on either side. So this is why we have the box opener. There we go. Put that there. Hopefully we don't need the box opener again. Goodness me. Okay. There'll be a little bit of a journey. Okay, doke. Oh, I'm just going to put the box down there. Oh, I think we have to build her. We have to build Elsa. Oh, like half of that box was empty. Well, that seems a bit odd. That could have been like half of the size of that box. But anywho. Headless Elsa. Okay. Hopefully these packets just open quite easily. She says, if we get the stand out first, it should be the stand, the body and the head. So... Q posquette with a little stand and you can see the little kind of dots where her feet will go this is where I need a little table next to me isn't it so I can put things down next to me oh ouch come Elsa oh she's got bubble wrap around her there we go float away a little bubble wrap so feet go in there I will show her properly in a second when I've built her. Now we get a head out. I do have a cuposket of, well there's two, I have a Rapunzel one up there. She's a little bit out of my reach right now. Oh, this sounds barbaric, doesn't it? And I also have an aerial one, which is right here so I can grab her. Now I feel really bad. This aerial one was displayed by my window. Look how faded her hair is at the back. That was before I realised about sun damage. Poor Ariel. So I need, an air, I need a new Ariel. But here is Elsa. Oh my word. She's beautiful. So I'm going to try and kind of turn her around. Very gently. Very slowly. Oh, because she, as you can imagine, because their heads are so big, they're a little bit top heavy. So you kind of got to balance them really gently. But now I have something new for my little frozen section. I might need to move Olaf. But she's so adorable. So I've just had another once over. What I would say is to double check everything because I've just noticed on mine as well. It might seem minor, but when you're paying £85 for something, you kind of want it to be, well, to not have any issues. Right here, just above my finger, on that orange part there, hopefully it's going to show up. It's kind of been chipped away, so you can see some of that part's been exposed. So that and the wonky pocket, I'm probably going to ask them for a replacement, but I am obsessed. So I'm going to do another 360 just because she's absolutely beautiful. And she's ready for Halloween. She is ready for Halloween. So fingers crossed there will be a spirit jersey to match because... I'm probably going to get it. I feel like I might need to get the ears now. I'm planning on going back to the London Disney store very soon. So make sure to hit the notification bell for that one. And subscribe because I'm going to film it. I love a shop video. So hopefully if they have the ears down there, I might just buy the ears. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.